guys, good morning. Good Saturday morning to you. Uh, this is Mr. Sienna, and uh, I'd like to share something with you this morning, something that the Lord has uh, been laying on my heart these past several months, especially since I've been having these issues with my back. I'd like to share with you a story about the walking stick. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, what is he talking about? But, you know, folks, since uh, I've had to, because of my bad back, I've had to use this walking stick quite often. And uh, I've learned over the last several months that there are reasons for that. And I'd just like to share those with you this morning. And uh, the first thing is, if we look at this walking stick, the first thing it does for me, it gives me stability. It gives me stability. It uh, allows me to walk and not waver from side to side. It gives me, it stabilizes my walk. It keeps me going straight and uh, without falling on my head, which definitely, you definitely don't want to see that. So it gives me that opportunity to walk forward and walk straight. The second thing it does for me is it supports me. It'll, as I'm walking, it keeps me from falling. I hate to admit it, but uh, it keeps me from falling. It lifts me up. It keeps my back straight. And uh, the final thing that it, it does for me, the final benefit, I guess you could say, is that this walking stick gives me strength. It, um, I know, folks, that as long as I have this thing in my hand and I'm walking, it, I have the strength and power to move forward. And uh, I will be able to walk straight and steady with this. You know, as, as you look at this, the Word of God gives us these kind of benefits, of course, but on a much grander, grander scale. Um, the, word of, the Word of God, uh, again, gives us stability. Now, what do I mean by that? God's Word is what? Stable. God's Word never changes. God's Word is solid as a rock. Psalm 95, 1 says this, O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. It not only keeps us stable, folks, it also supports us. The Word of God gives us support when things are tough. I mean, right now things uh, are going, at least uh, on the outside, things are going pretty tough, if you were to look at what's going on in the world right now. And, uh, but the Word of God gives us support. It keeps us from giving up. It keeps us from falling. Jude chapter 1, verses 24 and 25 says this, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power from now and forever. Amen. So it gives us, the word of God gives us stability. It gives us support. And the last one that I'd like to mention today, of course, it gives us strength. The Word of God gives us strength. It gives us power. It gives us strength to go forward, not to give up, not to surrender, to keep on keeping on, so to speak. 2 Samuel chapter 22 and verse 33 and verse 40 we're going to read. It says this, God is my strength and power, and he maketh my way perfect or complete. Verse 40, for thou hast girded me with strength to do what? To battle, to battle them that rose up against me. Hast thou subdued under me? Now, folks, without the word of God, we can, we can do nothing. Without the word of God, we don't have that support. We don't have that stability. We don't have that strength. Folks, and this strength cannot come from ourselves, right? It doesn't, definitely doesn't come from our government. It definitely doesn't come from the medical people you hear every single day. You're not going to get any straight answers from them. But, folks, it comes from the Word of God. That's where our strength comes. Stability, support, and strength. Where do you get your stability, strength, and, and support from? Do you get it from your own self? 
those people that are in the world today, folks, they're not going to give it to you. This right here, this is where our strength comes. This is our strength. Amen? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we, we thank you, Lord, for this time that we have, the short time that we have today. I pray, Lord, that you would just keep us close to thee. I pray, Lord, during this time that we have, that uh, we would be a blessing. And, Lord, again, I just thank you for the opportunity to serve you in this way. Lord, bring us all back together that we would be able to worship thee in spirit and in truth. And we thank thee in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good day, folks, and uh, we'll, we'll catch you again next time. Bye.